So this brings us to Trump's statements last week. As we talked about at length on Friday, President Trump is now accused by a bunch of Democrats uh, and at least one Republican, Lindsey Graham, of saying that people from bleep poll countries should not come to the United States. Now, there are two ways to read that comment, as I talked about on Friday. Way one to read it is the racist way. You're from Haiti, therefore you don't belong here because Haitians cannot assimilate and Haitians are stupid and bad and dirty and have AIDS, right? That's, that, that, that's sort of the racist way of reading what Trump said. And that links in with some accusations, the AIDS comment particularly, links into an accusation made about Trump in the New York Times back in June in which Trump supposedly said that all Haitians have AIDS. Okay, that, that was disputed by the White House. They denied that comment entirely and you don't know what to believe because it was, it was anonymously sourced. Okay, that is way one of reading it, that Trump was saying, I don't want more black people here, I don't want more Haitians here, I don't want more people from Ghana here. Get them out. They're the wrong color, they're the wrong race, they're the wrong ethnicity, therefore they should leave. Right, that's way one of, of reading this. And people reading Trump's comments in light of what he has said about Mexican judges, for example, they will say, obviously this is an instance of racism because the president is a racist. Okay, then there's way two of reading the comments, which is Trump was specifically talking about the diversity visa, diversity visa lottery, where we determine by country who to let in. And he was saying, why do we need more people from Ghana as opposed to more people from Great Britain? Why do we need more people from Russia as opposed to more people from Great Britain? If you're going to make differentiations among countries, then we have to have a hierarchy of countries that we give priority to. Why would we have less people from South Korea when we could have more people from South Korea and fewer people from Haiti? Right, that's way too of reading it. And that one is not really racist. It's not really even bigoted. That way is, is trying to force people into thinking about which countries are most likely to provide citizens who are most likely to assimilate to American values. Right, that's way too of reading it. Now, how you read that comment is basically a Rorschach test on what you think of Trump. But what's happened is that the media have been so determined, bound and determined, to hit Trump with the racist charge and read his comments in light of this background that he's a racist, that this prevents them from actually having to make an argument about the diversity visa lottery or about policy. I think there's some ulterior motives going on in any case. So let's go through this. First, let's point out a bunch of Republicans denied that Trump said it. Now, Republicans denying that Trump said it have been pretty weak on this stuff. So Sonny Perdue, uh, who is uh, who is a, a senator, or sorry, David Perdue, not Sonny Perdue, David Perdue, uh, who is the senator from Georgia, he was in the room when Trump apparently said this stuff, and he denies that Trump ever said this stuff. What he is really saying, and what the Republicans are saying, is that Trump didn't say that these people come from bleep hole countries. He said they come from bleep house countries, which makes no difference whatsoever. So if that's the peg you're going to hang your hat on, forget about it. Here is a David Perdue denying that Trump ever said this stuff. Those comments have been confirmed by, by multiple sources. But you're saying it didn't happen? Multiple sources? There were six of us in the room. I haven't heard any of those six sources other than, than Senator Durbin talk about what was said. Look, well, this Senator Graham told with Senator the Scott that the reports were basically accurate. Well, that's, you don't have to deal with him. But basically, is an operative word. The trouble here is that Senator Durbin came and brought a proposal. Now, let's put this in perspective. But, but, but you know, I want to get to the series. proposal, but you're saying, you're saying flat out, definitively, the president did not say those words. I'm saying that this is a gross misrepresentation. It's not the first time Senator Durbin has done it, and it is not productive to solve so the what problem. Did, so there's denial happening from Purdue. Tom Cotton also was asked about this. He also denied that Trump said this, and then he was grilled whether Dick Durbin, the senator from Illinois, was lying about it. Here's what Cotton had to say. What Senator Durbin and Senator Graham propose is to expand our country of origin and quota-based system the president reacted strongly against that, as he should, and I do as well, because we want to get away from a country of origin system I, that treats people as Nigerians absolutely. or Norwegians and treats them as individuals, I, as doctors and scientists and computer programmers and so forth. I understand your sentiment. You're quite clear on that. But the president's sentiment, you're saying in all of these meetings, there was never an instance in which he did what you're saying, well, John, and, where and he grouped people John, in, in, that in his in his tweets and his interviews and his public statements, just Tuesday, when we had the large meeting in the cabinet room, mm -hmm. he repeatedly insists that we need to move to a skills-based system. But you system. were in the room where it happens. So you're saying in that room, you didn't hear any of this uh, sort of lumping everybody together. Is that what you're saying? I did not hear derogatory comments but about- But about, about individuals or persons. No. Okay, so he's basically not denying the account. He's just, he's accounting for it the way that I account for it, right? He's trying to explain away what Trump said using this explanation. I don't find it completely implausible.